Christians, it's Kamala, and I'm just I'm making a video on a commercial that I recently saw, and I'm going to read first from Romans 1, 26 through 28. For this cause God th gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use and into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their ear which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Leviticus 18.22 Jude 1.7 Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them, in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. The demon of sexual perversion has just completely taken over this country, this world. And I saw a new commercial, it's not this one, of them completely normalizing gay marriage. It's a more recent one than this, actually. It was actually even an interracial uh, women getting married. I believe it was Johnny Walker. I only saw it once. Uh, I think you get the gist of it. They're normalizing this, and it's contrary to sound doctrine. They're normalizing transgenderism. That's contrary to sound doctrine. It is easier for a person who wants a sex change to be paid for in the hundreds of thousands of dollars in the state of Oregon than for sometimes women and children to get basic health care. There is something really wrong here. It's time to go back to the ways of God. Repent. Ask Jesus to come into your life, pick up at your cross, and follow him. Get baptized. Immerged in baptism in the Holy Spirit. Jesus is coming soon. The kingdom of God draws nigh.